Good day everyone, Braden here coming to you from the Epcot parking lot with the second construction tour of the year of the park of Epcot as it undergoes this dramatic renovation, this transformation, this overhaul, which finally appears to be accelerating with more and more crews being visible every day. So without further ado, let's head into the park and see what's going on. Epcot Center, Walt Disney World. So everyone, here we are at the entrance to Epcot in the shadow of Spaceship Earth. And of course, you here you have the beautiful Epcot fountain, the prism fountain that just looks so awesome. And then right here, you have these walls that went up shortly after the walls came down on the Epcot fountain. Now, what they're doing behind these walls is installing the same concrete footers that are on the other side of the fountain. We discussed this last update, and it seems like the collective wisdom online at this point is that these are likely going to be for flagpoles where they'll have those Epcot Center flags that we saw featured in the original Epcot Overhaul entrance promenade concept art. When these will be going up, we don't know, but I'm guessing that'll be something they'll do overnight one night after they get the concrete footers installed on the other side, over on the other side of the fountain here, and it'll be very cool to see those come to life. You can see they already have all the lighting in place for these and the planters. It looks like these are gonna be lit up pretty well at night. It just looks so great. You're gonna have the fountain, you're gonna have the flags, and then of course you're gonna have Spaceship Earth. How it's all gonna look all together, what that's gonna look like as the final product, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I can actually already see from here, looking over at Interventions East, all the work going on. So let's head over to Future World East and see what that's about. Past the queue for Spaceship Earth, if you look down this way, which currently doesn't lead anywhere, you can actually see right into what used to be Interventions East. It looks like they're doing more of that steel framing installation on the ceiling in there for presumably where they'll be hanging the ceiling of whatever offerings are going to be in this building. We know there's going to be a restaurant of some kind. Maybe this is where we'll see the Club Cool free soda offering return. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Before we take a look at everything happening in the center area here, you can actually hear them doing some roofing work on Interventions East as we speak. There are a few projects we need to talk about over here, starting with the Space 220 restaurant, which is the one that we've had the least news about in the last month. We really haven't heard anything. Now, the Space 220 restaurant, from the outside, it looks to be done, it looks to be ready to go. We got that photo inside from Disney not too long ago. The thing with the Space 220 restaurant is it is not being run by Disney, and there are some viewers of the show that actually work for the company that's going to be running it, Patina Restaurant Group. Of course, they run the restaurants that are over at the Italy Pavilion here in Epcot, as well as some of the restaurants over in Disney Springs. So when the Space 220 restaurant is revving up and getting ready to open, we should have good forewarning as to when that's going to happen uh, from Patina a restaurant group on that. Then over here, we also have the Wonders of Life, which is going to become the Play Pavilion with these interactive exhibits. Definitely not a project Disney wants to put a lot of focus on right now in this age of social distancing. So that project is also one that is on pause at this point. But there has been a little progress since last month in that the final original gold tiles have been removed. There are a few left on the building, and now the new gold tiles, that new weather ceiling has been installed, completing the new gold dome, which sort of has a new color. It's a little bit more of a faded uh, color if you look there on the gold dome. But the good news is it should not leak anymore, which is great news as far as the future of a pavilion. I do not want us to see it go away. And then the most progress by far since last we were here, take a look at the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind coaster right now. The entrance facade, it is night and day this month versus every other time that we've been here where you know the roof is just looks like a total mess. Just all sorts of work going on up there. You could always see right into the building with all the work that they're doing on the inside. That is no longer the case because as you can see on the roof of the building, they've put in, I don't know what you'd call that. I'll tell you in post what exactly that is. Uh, but of course, on top of that blue material is where they're going to be putting either solar panels or some sort of decorative thing. But even more exciting, looking below the roof, you can see finally the facade is being put back on to the front of the universe of energy as the entire queue and load building is sealed in. You can see they're putting in that plywood now and then they'll put the stucco on and paint it and all that. Just pretty amazing to see it finally all seemingly coming together here outside of the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction. One interesting thing, if you recall, last month they had that scaffolding up for where they were going to install the Nova Corp ship that is going to be outside the front of this attraction. Now that scaffolding has been removed, 
yet we don't have a Nova Corp ship or anything where that scaffolding was. So the question is, is this like a Tron coaster situation where Disney's just cleaning up the front and then they're gonna pause work until a future date, so we're not gonna get the Nova Corp ship for a long time, or is this all part of the construction process and we just aren't exactly attuned to everything going on with this attraction. Something else interesting, there's a hole on the side of the building here now where you're going to have the exit from the attraction. If you look at the WDW News Today map uh, from a few years ago, the rumored layout, it would make sense that's where the exit would be. But I have to say, just looking at the outline of the new facade where you're going to enter, uh, looking at the plywood there and seeing it all come together, it's just so great to see finally what seems to be some real construction progress here in Epcot after so, so many months of covering demolition and Disney putting in new utilities and all that sort of stuff that really wasn't something aesthetic. Now we're starting to see those aesthetics return to the park and in the distance, I can hear the work going on over at Interventions East. So let's take a look at it. So over here at Interventions East, what they're doing right now is a bunch of things. Of course, we saw they're doing work on the inside. We saw that from over by Spaceship Earth. Then they're also installing glass. They're glassing in the new mouse gear store. They took out the old glass and now they're putting in the new glass. And then on top, it smells really bad right now because they are putting in the new roofing. They are sealing the roof of the building. They are doing that as we speak. Now taking a look at the building from a different angle over here by where you go to enter the World Showcase, you can see the Festival of the Arts is going on right now. If you look, not only can you see workers on top of the building right now, but also below them looking inside, you can see there are these new decorative circles that are on the ceiling inside of the Interventions East building. You see those? You can actually see those from a few other angles too. If you look at the glassed in back entrance to the mouse gear location, you can see more of those circles that have been installed on the ceiling. Heading over to Future World West to get a better view into the middle of the park. Along the way, you can see all of these different pieces of artwork inspired by the original lineup of Epcot Center attractions, where two artists did a poster for each of them as part of the Festival of the Arts. Really cool to see stuff like this. From left to right, looking at the center area here, first, of course, we have Interventions West, which is being demolished as we speak. At this point, just about everything that was in the building, outside of the building, has been removed. Now it really just seems like a matter of actually taking down uh, the steel columns, the steel supports, all of that that makes the building the building. It's really just the skeleton of it that's left. Looking into what's left of Interventions West, you can actually see right through it. You can see the American flag that stands outside the front of the park. Of course, you can also see the legs of Spaceship Earth, and you can see the Epcot Prism Fountain, the prisms themselves. It's pretty amazing. You can see that from all the way back here. And then looking over at Interventions East, you can see on the roof right now, all of those crews working on the roof of the building. And then looking down at the mouse gear portion, you can see all that glass has just been installed. It's really looking like it's starting to be enclosed now. We have those new theming elements. And then looking at the other section of Interventions East, we're a little bit more fuzzy as to exactly what we'll be getting. We know that we'll be getting something to replace the electric umbrella counter service. We're gonna have a new dining location. And of course, behind the workers that are working on the roof, you can also see the work happening over at the Guardians Coaster. It's safe to say there's definitely a lot happening in the middle of future world right now and it's really good to see that Epcot overhaul work it hasn't ceased it does look like Disney is continuing to work on it and while there are rumors about work perhaps stopping over at Tron soon or perhaps at Guardians that definitely does not appear to be the case with whatever's coming to Interventions East it looks like they're really trying to get that done of course Disney wants to get the shop done we'll see what else comes to that area and also maybe that won't be the case with Guardians anymore because one of the big holdups we've heard with the Guardians attraction is they actually have to film the media for the attraction the stuff that's going to be on the screens throughout the Guardians of the Galaxy coaster. It's going to be a screen coaster, so of course they have to film all that. And with the lockdowns and stuff, they haven't been able to get the actors together. That is no longer the case. I'm actually going to put a timestamp on screen right now if you want to skip this part, because there will be a leaked photo I'm about to show uh, from the production of the new Thor movie, which is going to come up right now. Here you can see there's a new leaked image, and it looks like production work is finally underway on this new Thor movie, which is featuring Star-Lord. Uh, Chris Pratt is one of the characters in it. And while this isn't the Guardians 3 production, it's this Thor movie production, it does look like Star-Lord is back to work. So it's really a question of how soon till we see the media filmed for the Guardians attraction. We might have to wait for them to do the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 production for us to see all of that get filmed. But it does look like things are finally starting to get back to normal here. And we might be getting pretty close to finally seeing all of that recorded. And then Disney can finish up this attraction and get the Guardians coaster open, as well as open the entirety of Future World here. The next thing I'm hoping for us to see is Disney get rid of the rest of Interventions West 
and then hopefully we'll start to see work come together on the Moana journey of water attraction. Now it's time to head over to the World Showcase and see what's going on with Ratatouille and those harmonious barges. Well everyone, here we are at the World Showcase Lagoon and now there isn't just one harmonious barge, there are now two here in the middle of the World Showcase Lagoon. Of course, there's gonna be another two of these on the other side, and then an even bigger barge is going to be in the middle. Right now, you can actually see some people out on the water. What they do is they travel around on these little boats uh, from the side of the lagoon, and then they actually go right up and dock with each of these barges to do various types of tests on them. I was here one day when they were testing the rotating arm on the top of the barge and sort of moving it around and stuff. Those arms have lights on them, and in the visual you have in the Epcot experience here in the park uh, the preview center you can see what that's gonna look like uh, we're gonna have all those spotlights on the arm lighting up it's just so wild to see these barges in the middle here now I do have to say it definitely does affect the sight line it really is hard to see the Japan pavilion for example right now uh, because there's a barge in the way you really can't see the Italy pavilion right now either again because there's a barge in the way and the new development on this project I wanted to share with you is I have heard that those fountains those daytime fountains that are supposed to make this look less jarring during the daytime those might not be running as often as we think that they will as far as you know the entire daytime the fountains are running and you don't notice the big screens in the middle they will not be running the entire day because those fountains have to be off in order for work to actually be done on the barge between each show Oh. Of course, you're gonna have fireworks that are gonna be out here. There's gonna be all sorts of maintenance that needs to be done to these barges between each show and on different occasions. And of course, when all that work's happening, the workers can't have water being sprayed all over the place, right? They actually have to work on these barges. So things like that are going to affect how often it looks like how it does in this concept art at the port of entry where it looks really nice with the fountains and stuff. It is really cool that Disney at least put some thought into how to disguise these during the daytime. And I actually am kind of excited to see what these are gonna look like with the fountains on them but just make sure that you've tempered your expectations in so far as that is concerned because there are going to be times when you're here in the world showcase in the future during the daytime we are going to look out into the lagoon and you are going to see exactly what we are looking at now hey no more jokes i promise the last bit of new here in epcot for the month of february 2021 Finally, the walls have come down at the Ratatouille sign, the future entrance to where you're going to go back behind the France Pavilion and board Remy's Ratatouille adventure. Now, what they've done is they've taken down the walls at the sign and now moved the walls to over by where the crepery is. Uh, that building back there where you're going to have all sorts of authentic French crepes that are served in a counter service fashion. And the reason they did this, the reason they've opened this area up is that they can open up the restrooms that are back here across from the crepe. Uh, so now there are new restrooms back here at the France Pavilion as well as additional seating along the pathway and it's really nice to finally be back here. I have to say I am very impressed with the level of detail back in this area. If you look at the railings along it uh, that face out towards the water, it's all very well themed. This building which is original to the France Pavilion, they've updated it, they've added all sorts of new decor to really give it that little extra bit uh, to turn it from just being a backstage area that would rarely be seen really. You'd really only see it from the Friendship Boats or from the International Gateway. Now it's actually a part of the park that you walk past and looks very, very nice. Something very cool is shadows are cast by the Skyliner cars which are above onto the pathway below here. You can actually see those going by uh, and they cast a shadow onto the guests as they're walking on this new pathway back here, which is just so great to see. And finally, we can get a bit of a look into where you're actually going to enter this attraction. We can see the facade as it's meant to be seen. You know, I sort of criticized a little bit that painted facade you have where above the entrance to the Ratatouille attraction, there's a two-dimensional skyline. It actually does look pretty nice and the faded colors on that backdrop, the way they painted it, it's supposed to make it look like the buildings are further away and I actually feel like it works. You can even see Gusto's back here and of course you have the restrooms and the crepery. So that's a look at the back of this area. I think it turned out really nice. Even the Eiffel Tower, which was really never meant to be seen from this angle, looks pretty good as well. I've purposely sort of kept my in the dark on this attraction uh, so I can experience for the first time in person here when it opens here in Epcot sometime this year. When exactly that'll be remains to be seen, but work at the attraction does seem to be entirely wrapped 
wrapped up. It really just seems like right now Disney's working on operational stuff with the attraction itself and we'll see this open. Just such a great area back here to relax. It's always great when you get new seating. Uh, everyone's enjoying that, being able to just watch the Skyliners. It's a great atmosphere here by the water here in France with the music and everything. Very excited to see this open. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe with those notifications on so you don't miss any of the content we have coming. Uh, we have a lot on the way. We'll continue to cover all the latest news and also all the latest happening here in Epcot month by month as this overhaul work seems to be accelerating. Very exciting to see. Thank you guys so much for watching live from the France Pavilion here in Epcot. This is Braden. Have a magical day.